Welcome to another Tasty Tuesday at 2 with me, your host, Zizi Payanki. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be bringing you six wines under 100 Rand. Yes, let me say that again. Six wines under 100 Rand. So, it's actually hard to find a good value for money wine under 100 Rand these days. But let me show you the selection that I've chosen for you. So, the first one is the Boncourage Mulberry Bush. So this one is from the Robertson Wine Valley. Beautiful warm area. So in this moment, you pick up more darker fruit flavors, your blackberries, your black cherries, well-balanced tannin structure. So this is something that you can basically buy now to keep or drink later. And then the second on my list will be definitely the Bourglas Tinta Barocca. So Tinta Barocca is basically a Portuguese grape variety mainly used for your port style wines. But what both both lasted is they decided to do this as a single cultivar. So this wine has that beautiful um, undertones that you find in your port style wines, that mocha, the dark chocolate, beautiful blackberries on the nose with a beautiful white well balanced tannins. So this is also a wine that you can basically do now or keep later. This can accompany any, any, any dish, light to heavy, because it's got that structure to it. And then my third choice, one of my favorite ones, and favorite estate, <laughs> Bushman's Bad Estate. So I've got the Cap Merlot blend here, which is about 50% Cabernet and 50% Merlot. So this is a beautiful balance between these two cultivars, because Cab will always add structure and complexity and tannins in the blend, where your Merlot will smoothen that up on the palate and give you those beautiful flavors that you're looking for. Also well balanced wine. This is something that you can age for another two to three years, but it's really good to drink now. Trust me. You can aerate this wine just to get it to its potential faster or even decant it if you want. I know it doesn't have sediment, but if you want to really see how it will basically develop through the time, that's what you can do with it. And then, South Africa is basically well known for Pinotage and we also have our own style that we blend called the Cape Blend. So this is a Cape Blend from the Eustrof, also a winery situated in the wine, Robertson Wine Valley. So this blend actually has predominantly Pinotage and then with a touch of Shiraz. Yes, that sounds interesting. So Pinotage um, will give that beautiful structure and those nice coffee undertones in, in this blend with a nice subtle um, blackberry, black cherry undertone where your Shiraz will add that nice spicy touch to the wine. So this is also a wine that I can highly highly recommend or if you want to drink it now, you can. It's suitable to drink now, it's really 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 well balanced. Um, I love the mouth feel of the wine, it's beautiful, well rounded, it's just something that you can basically buy, stock up your wine shelf and drink it on a later stage. Speaking of Shiraz, I'm going to introduce you to Valta Free, the Simplified Labels. So this is called the Simplified Labels. Um, this is the Shiraz, Cigar Box Shiraz from Valta Free, that's situated in Bonneville. What I love about this one is you basically get everything that the label says. So if you look at this label, it says Cigar, cigar Box, and that's actually what you're going to pick up in this one. It's got that beautiful, spicy undertone. Um, cigar box um, feel um, on the nose and on the palate. So, if you love Shiraz, if you like structure, you like complexity, you like a nice full bodied one, this is something you definitely would love to buy. It's medium bodied, but it really, really, really gives you what you're looking for in a Shiraz. So, when you're eating, there's always a starter main course in a dessert so i'm going to end this vlog with a nice dessert i'm going to introduce you to the john montague cape ruby this is a really 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 good friend of mine <laughs> what i mean by that is this is a wine that you can serve after your last meal after your dessert just as a digestive and enjoy yourself it's got a nice beautiful touch of sweetness with beautiful beautiful woody undertones it's well balanced it's not intensely crazy sweet or it doesn't have that overpowering wood um, undertones but it's amazing so for your dessert 
get yourself a bottle of John Montague. If you want to get all the wines that I've just gave you on this vlog, log on to our website at www.platform62.co.za or give me a call, I'll do a personalized order just for you, based on your palate. Um, till next time, thank you.